what's going on guys welcome to a new video dragon ball xenoverse 2 my name is Vinicius sgn and today we are talking about a new skill out of dlc extra pack 5 called petrifying spit and you get it from Debora. now if you want this skill you're gonna have to go into parallel quest 114 i believe it is and it's the majin revival plan now if you want to get this skill you're gonna have to get the ultimate finish at least I didn't get the skill until I got the ultimate finish and if you haven't seen my video that I uploaded previously on how to get the ultimate finish to the Majin Revival plan, definitely go and check that out. Now in this video I'm going to quickly show you me doing the parallel quest with the buddy King V Hades. He uh, actually in this run right here, he's over in another section fighting time patrollers and I am fighting Deborah by myself. I actually had to fight the great Saiya man and the great Saiya woman and then the great uh, the Deborah guy, the, the demon king realm guy which was uh, pretty cool because I got a chance to play with Tapion. I really enjoy playing with him. Alright, so after you kill him, you're going to get the ultimate finish there. Let's go ahead and finish him off. Okay, yeah, he's running for dear life. Okay, and then this is going to trigger the finish, and then this triggers the uh, extra part, the danger. And Majin Buu and Deborah are going to come because that's what he was trying to do in this parallel quest was revive the Majin Buu. Alright, so me what i was doing in this i was just killing deborah first to maybe see if the skill did drop but for me the skill didn't drop until after the quest ended now i killed deborah first and then i'm just going to go ahead and let king v hades take care of majin buu because my health is really low and tapion has that really really awesome skill to play a flute and heal himself all right there's the ultimate finish and the skill is going to pop up like right after there it is, there's the rescore screen, and boom, there it is, super attack, petrifying spit. Now, this skill is probably a skill that I will never use because it keeps your opponent immobile. That's what it says. It says, spit out saliva that turns your opponent to stone, and it puts them into stone. It lasts for a little bit, it gives you a chance to do something. Now, there is something actually really cool that they added with this move. While your opponent is turned into stone, and you're going to see it here in a minute because this is the first thing I want to check out, you can't stamina break them while they are in stone. Now, once you hit them, they go flying like crazy. Okay, this is me trying to do the stamina break. Bomb, look at that. That's a heavy stamina break, and it did not work. So, my hat's off to Dimps and Bandai Namco, whoever created this move. They thought ahead, they thought of us, and they said, you know what? This will be really cheesy if you can freeze somebody and then stamina break them. Now, I don't know why my uh, low stamina break was going a little bit slower than my heavy. All right, see, that's the heavy, and it's not working. It works for the, the low one, too. I'm going to show you really quick here, and then... It's just it takes me a little bit to do the, the low one for some reason. I don't know. All right, see, there it is. That's the low one, and no, stamina did not get broken. Now, this skill is not an instant cast. It takes uh, like a, yeah, I don't know, 0.5 seconds, 0 0.05 seconds to get off, so it's not very instant. But once you get it off, your opponent is immobile, and they cannot do anything. They cannot snap vanish. They cannot use an evasive skill. They are actually stuck, and they are at your mercy, and you can do whatever you want to them. There's even enough time to do a Kyle King Kamehameha if you want to. I suggest if you have the Super God Fist on your build, Super God Fist into a Kyle King Kamehameha because those moves link. So basically what I'm trying to say is when you have this move Petrifying Spit equipped, do moves that can combo into another, you know, into one another, you know what I mean? Especially if you have their stamina broken white or four. But you don't really get their stamina broken because they can't move. All you got to do is make sure they're in frames that can't do anything, or at the very least, they have to use stamina to get away from your attacks. And getting your opponent to use stamina is the key to winning in any PvP match. Alright, so that is going to be it for me. If you guys, like always, have any comments or concerns or maybe any tips or tricks to using Petrifying Spit, definitely let me know that down in the comments below so everybody has a chance to know. Alright, I'm going to leave you now watching, letting you watch me, you know, test this thing out, maybe see if it's a skill that you want to go get, a skill that you want to use. In a little bit, I'm going to turn on to where Deborah is spitting at me with the Petrifying Spit so you can see exactly that there's really nothing that I can do while I'm stuck in Petrifying Spit. I can't use an evasive skill, I can't snap vanish, I can't do anything, and I'm immobile for like 0.23 seconds or something like that. Alright, so, like I said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Definitely let me know down in the comments below if you have any tips or tricks for this move. Thanks, guys.
50 levels deep. Oh. <laughs>